It's not anything. Anything you ever used and done in direct sales, this is not like that. Everybody is a multi-billion dollar business here, trillion dollar business, really. It's unbelievable, but it's only good for you if you learn how to talk. So I ask you, why are you here? You're here to learn. Why not get into application? Okay, because if you get into application and you make some money, it becomes very well. Am I right or wrong, Miss Edris? Just quit her job, by the way, and went full time. Give her a hand. Very proud of you, actually. I'm sure it's, um, you're doing a great job. I remember when I met you, you know, and um, I'm watching all of you grow. And if you want to grow faster, Dave and Fe no, here, switch this camera right here. No, go to switch the camera, get a different camera. You can pick the different camera. Hold on, guys, we're gonna get this going now. We pick the camera and pick um, the life cam camera. I should be able to pick a different camera. Go to camera, yeah, yeah. let me yeah. see. Let me <laughs> see, does anybody know how? Hold on one minute, guys. You're live, we're just trying to. <laughs> Hold on. We've got it live. All right, what's this say? Anybody know how to switch this camera here? Uh, all right, let's see. Towards the front of the room, I guess it's a good picture. Yeah, go ahead and uh, do it. We can try that. All right, yeah, um, shut this and do it. All right, well, I thought we had the camera hanging out. We got it for Zoom, but it's okay. And um, <laughs> it's all right. All right, well, Barry's got to close the thing off, the thing here. Close this off. Here, hold on. We get this off here. Hold on. I don't need that. Hold on, guys. All right. Okay. So there we have it right there in a nutshell for you with Travel University University. This weekend's for you. Today's going to be jam-packed. I'm going to stop here in a minute. I'm going to, you know, you're going to have BDM after BDM coming up here and pouring your heart and soul out to you to help you grow your business. We hope, we hope that this will help you in your business. Uh, what I want you to do is to give the utmost respect for them. Ask them any questions you've got. Be ready to put it on them. Um, you know, get your questions answered, guys, because this isn't what I'm about. I'm, I'm marketing, okay? I'm a, I'm out getting to zombies, okay? And I love him, man. He's, he's this guy's a getter, man. He's bringing guests. He's bringing people. He told me last night he, he already has his want-tos. He knows what he wants to do. He knows he wants to travel. He knows time's on his side against him. He wants to make money, travel. And, and, and he knows he can make money. I don't know of another business that you can go do this, guys. I never took a trip. For those that don't know, I never took a trip. Okay, me and Farrah never vacationed before we got in trouble. But I always was a top producer in the companies, but I've never ever got to enjoy any of the, any of the, my time. So, you know, I always tell people, you, get, is you can always make money, but you can't replace time. Over the years, the last couple of years, I lost my mom, I lost my dad. It's not a pity story, it's real life, okay? Um, you know, and then get to travel with them, make plenty of money. Mom's gosh, she never even got to ride my RV back when I had my RV. Dad just died, he never even got to go on a cruise with me. It, it, by the time I got into travel business, it was oxygen, then he couldn't do it, and that, now he's gone, okay? I'm not going to be one of those guys. I'm not going till 70 and then not be able to do anything. I'm traveling with people like you that I've been out on trips with, having fun, getting down, baby. Right now, they know how to do it. I tell you something, we've had some fun. Anyway, all those that have had fun with us on a trip, raise your hand. We know how to get down. Yeah, that's unbelievable with what we do. We have fun. I don't know anybody else that has more fun than we do when we do these trips. It's incredible. What I want to do, and, and you'll, you come on some of these trips with us, and you'll know what I'm talking about because these, these people know how to have it. Guys, I'm going to turn this over here. He's been involved before the internet, before the fax machine. 
for the people. Okay? Uh, stuff that's not in there before the 8 track goes. So, what I want you to do is give it up for Mr. Carlos Fang. It's unbelievable what way he's got going on. He's going to lay it on you guys. So, there we go, Carlos. Have at it, my brother. Your screen's here with your clicker. This thank is just you, so you recording yeah. you. Well, thank you very much. I thank you because you made me look old. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Dave! Uh, being truthful, I was with Mexican Airlines in 1975, and that was the very last week that they had the Lazy Susan reservation system. They literally had a Lazy Susan with 30 different slots, or 31 different slots for the day of the week, and you put, you had a bunch of people around the table, they pull off the paper, put someone's name, put it back on, and at the end of the day, they would send a teletype to Mexico City, and that's how they filled up DC-10s back then, and 747s, with a lazy Susan. And uh, now everything is super computerized and everything, but I got to see the old technology and then go all the way up. And I was the very first one in my company to have a PC. Everybody was jealous. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm Carlos Banks with Club Holidays. I also have to uh, something too on the university. Besides learning, it's also a research and development area. And with that, uh, I was president at Florida International University of an organization called TRIP, Tourism Research in Progress. These are all students. And we were contracted uh, by Fun of Tours to help create camps in Cancun before there was a Cancun. Wow. And then I got to see it. And then that was in 74, 75. I was hired by Mexicana. Late 75 is when Cancun opened up. And I got to see it from two different eyes. Uh, the sad part is they kind of ruined Cancun because the original Cancun was no higher than a palm tree, no building. No and as we drove down the main boulevard, you can always see the, either the lagoon or the ocean. Now, I got to admit, the Riviera Maya says, oops, we're not going to allow that again. So there are no high-rise buildings from Cancun area on the Riviera Maya all the way down to Belize, which is almost a couple hundred miles. So there's no... Uh, there's no high-rise building, so I got to see different things. I was with Mexicana Airlines for 20 years. Uh, Karuda, Indonesia, selling Valley of Wine. And most recently, before this, uh, I was with Malaysia Airlines. I had the accidents, whatever, but uh, before that happened, uh, I helped put the largest trade mission from the USA to Malaysia in Malaysia's history. Uh, from that, Nova Southeast University now has a, uh, a campus in Malaysia. I'm going to help put an astronaut to the International Space Station. So, my life is very unique. My wife says when I'm in between opportunities, well, why don't you get a real job where you make real money? <laughs> I'm having fun here. I'm addicted to people. I'm addicted to all over the place internationalism. I of as somebody, oh, what was it? somebody said yesterday, reds and blacks and whites and yellows. And, no, everybody is all my family. I am a member of the world. So I went to 32 different schools in four different countries growing up. So what a blessed life. So pleasant holidays. We have four different brands. Uh, let me get that. Focus that here more. There. So Pleasant Holidays, we have four different brands that I'll talk about a little bit later on. And we're, anybody here from New Jersey? Okay. How did we get our name? I'll give you a hint. Point Pleasant, New Jersey. For Jersey Mike's submarine session for this group. Board. So we were founded in 1959, so we've been around a while. Uh, we are, all our employees are U.S. based except for one person. So whenever you talk to anybody in our company, they're here in the United States. We have one product manager in Europe. Uh, what we do is customize FIT. FIT is individual travel. So you go when you want 
want to go, you stay where you want to stay and only do the sightseeing you want to do or the activities you want to do. You're not in a group. We do have one group escorted or guided vacation, but I would say 99.9% .9 of what we do is all individual travel. We also do groups from five rooms with sandals up to 3,000. We had one day 5,000 people in one of our uh, in one of our groups. Uh, from, wasn't my group, otherwise I would be retiring now. Uh, <laughs> but we had 5,000 people about three years ago, all at one time. And we're fi very financially stable. This is very important. We're a member of us 2 What does that mean? That means very few companies can qualify. You have to put big bonds up and everything. Your, our, your funds for your, cli your clients' deposits and final payments alike are guaranteed for up to a million dollars. So very few companies have that. So our brand, Pleasant Holidays is our meat and potatoes, if you want to call it that. Uh, or grits and fried chicken in the South. <laughs> Uh, but we are the biggest tour operator in the world to Hawaii and Tahiti. Journeys, this is our luxury brand, four and five star properties, private villas and homes. Everybody pleasant. No hotel needed. We have airfares around the world. Not really to Mexico and the Caribbean, but for Asia, uh, South America, South Africa, Europe, and the like, we can do. So we have discount fares. For first and business class, the discounts can be up to 15%, I see. I'm going tomorrow to India. Round trip on Emirates, business class. How much should that be? About six, seven thousand dollars? How about three thousand one hundred? Nice. So what you do is you look it up on the internet how much it would cost to John Q Public. Let's say seven thousand, and let's say you bought it for three thousand. You sell it for four or five thousand. You gave them a big discount, and you made a bunch of money. And last of all, we have pleasant activities. We sell activities by itself. So in Hawaii, Mexico, the Caribbean, uh, Costa Rica, like so, you can buy you no know, hotel needed. You can buy an activity. So if someone has a timeshare or whatever. You still can make the money. So how would you rate different companies? I would rate Journeys as a five star or five diamond, Pleasant Holidays four, Pleasant Activities four, and Air by Pleasant four. Now Pleasant, there's a number two up in most FIT companies, I would rate them in the three and four star category. Uh, you know, if you had to go out and print your own docs and everything, that's a three star category for me. But if you want real docs and the like, that's a four star. I make journeys of five star. The reason being, we also will do. Uh, if you clients want anything, a private guide. That's journeys. Pleasant doesn't have that. So I have to come with the difference between a four and five that way. Uh, major award winner. Uh, last year we won thirteen different awards, and this year we won I think seven awards already. So usually the best of Hawaii, the best of the South Pacific. Uh, and also to our operator support. So on my business card, which everybody got, hopefully, uh, if not, I'll get to you. Uh, you have my personal cell, and you have all four companies in the back of the car. So you can call me up eight days a week, up until 10 o'clock Eastern time. <laughs> Seven o'clock. Hey, I've got the calls. So Your wife is the same. <laughs> Yeah, well, I have to go by the Beatles, you know, I'm into that. <laughs> Sirius Radio has the Beatles channel, now I'm having a great time. I, I have the Beatles, I have the Beatles like in my blood because I live in the Bahamas, two doors away from where the Beatles were staying for the for almost a month for the filming of the movie Health. And so that was currently the Sandals world of me. That was the Bar Marl Club. That's where the Queen would stay when she came to Santa And then also, right off on the private island, the song Another Girl from the movie Help was filmed there. And I can see it all. <laughs> uh, and then our Pleasant Agent site, plus our Journey site, are very, very easy to work with. Now, 
Don't get scared. If you don't know the answer, call it in. I'll explain that in a little bit. But up here in the right, upper right corner is the agent resource button. You click on that and you get a bunch of plethora of information. Information about our trip points, which I'll explain. Track, that's our training. So if you have insomnia at three in the morning, you can go watch one of our videos or, or, or past uh, uh, webinars. Uh, also, we have about a thousand flyers you can customize with your own information on there to print or email to your clients. Uh, we also price match policies, which I'll get to on our brochures. So we have electronic brochures too. So a lot of different things in our agent resource center. So our res agents are second to none. Uh, they have been very busy. I got to admit that. The reason being. Uh, started last year about August or so. Uh, we weren't ready for it. Our service went way downhill and our sales went way uphill. Uh, a number of tour operators, large tour operators, lost con major contracts. In Hawaii, as an example, only two of us, I'm kind of pleasant journeys as one company, have a contract at the Four Seasons. All the other contracts disappeared. Uh, sandals and beaches drops and tour operators. Excellence, uh, Charisma, Guest Americana, um, in Mexico and the Caribbean, the Ritz Carlton and the uh, St. Regis also drops on the tour operators. Nobody dropped us. Nobody. <laughs> so, with that, we got an onslaught of new people coming to us. Uh, my business is this year. For even with the hurricane and everything, year to date right now, I'm sitting almost at 50% up over last year. Wow. I'm averaging, in 10 years, I've been averaging 38% increase each and every year. So I haven't had a decrease since I joined the company. Uh, we also uh, have a wedding desk. Unfortunately, we do not have a divorce desk. We probably make more money. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a wedding desk. And for Pleasant, you get an extra, going through the wedding desk, whether your wedding, we have an extra $25 per booking FIT. No maximum. And selected hotels, and the list is on our website, $50 per booking. Um, and you can give that to the right group, but I would say about 95% of the agents keep it for themselves. But we allow that to give it to the bride and group as a gift. Uh, for journeys, we give the bride and group a $25 future travel credit per booking. And we've given you 350 trip points. Again, I'll explain what that is. And all these hotels here uh, are offering bonus. That's the $50 per booking. Again, no limitation. So there's a number of hotels you can get bonus uh, $50 per booking for weddings. Like I said, our flyers are customizable. So when you open the flyer up, you'll see delete and type whatever. So you just uh, delete that, type over it, put your own information, your own phone numbers, email addresses, and everything. Print it off or email it, and you can take a, a photograph of it with a little camera. It's a, that's one of the little things on there. So if you don't see it, go to the tools and look for a little camera, and then you can copy the whole thing or part of it and send it to your clients. So we have about a 1,000 flyers to choose from. I'll throw it in. We reward you for every booking with Pleasant and Journeys. You get one point for every ten dollars of commissionable sales. So, about four bookings will get you two thousand five hundred points. Usually, it's usually a little bit more than that. So, in most cases, I find here in Florida, we get about four bookings get you about two hundred dollars worth of points on average. The points are for you to use. No blackouts. So Christmas, spring break, winter break, whatever, you can take your own personal trip. So we give us more than the fan trips per se because you can do whatever you want when you want to do it. Last year in Florida alone, I gave out over $135,000 worth of free travel. You know, I can't stop anything or anything. Whatever you want to do, that's yours. You just have to book a hotel with that. The, Points, and if you have more points, you can use it for your own. 
Another thing about it, oh man, I got a group coming up. I, they haven't traveled yet, so I don't have the points on it yet. And I got this and that. You can buy your trip with the points with the, you have. And then, before they travel, you can use the remaining points you just earned and we'll give you a credit for those points so you get a refund back on a differential. So we try to be really fair about it. Uh, groups, uh, if you have 50 room nights, that's really easy. That's like 20 rooms for three nights. That's sorry, you get a bonus for those. So 60 room nights, will auto, or 50 room nights will automatically get you a bonus. And it uh, builds up from there to up to 200 room nights. Uh, but the beauty of it is uh, it can go up to $3,100 at select hotels. But these are the bonus, the big ones. But anything that you sell, 50 room nights in a group, automatically gets you some type of bonus. So we're not getting money away. <laughs> Let's see here. We protect you with a protection plan for your clients. And that's, God, I lost another hair today. Oh, no. Yeah. Can't go to Cancun now. <laughs> so you can cancel for any reason, any reason at all. And if it's a legitimate reason, like a death in the family or illness or whatever, uh, the clients get all the money back. And if it is a legitimate reason, like me losing my hair, then the clients will get uh, future travel credit for another year. And even while they're traveling, they can be protected for medical evacuations and stuff. So, it's, I mean, when you're traveling internationally, most times your insurance is not valid. So I always buy insurance. And as travel agents, uh, some of the companies will let you buy a one-year program for about $100. And that's good for every time you're over 100 miles away from home. So, look into that. Uh, again, if it's a legitimate reason, you get all the commission and everything. And if it isn't a legitimate reason, you get up to $100 per person. Now, if you're only going to get $69 anyway, that's it. Sorry, Charlie. But you get up to $100 commission uh, per person for that. And then you also get the commission when they rebook. So double dipping. <laughs> Best price guarantee. As long as everything matches. At all. Do you think I should? Let's protect anybody and everybody. How's that? Yeah. So we'll get throw anything you want at me, and I'll we'll do our darnest to price match it. How about if it's another tour operator and they're only giving you ten percent commission? We will price match it and keep your full commission. And you're getting 15, 15 with us. That's if you call it in or you do it online, same 15. The other guys take 1% to 4% away from you when you call it in. That's right. You know that, right? Yeah. We don't take a dime from you. You earned every penny. We want to give you all the money. So if it's a Costco or, or Expedia or whatever, as long as we don't lose money, which is about 95%, 96% of times, we can price match. Your commission might change, but 10% commission is better than nothing. We give you real documents on both pleasant journeys. And for our more upscale, but it's a high-end booking. This is the document holder for journeys. Oh, nice. okay. So that's $6,000 or more per person get to the upgraded one. I love getting those away. So, <laughs> so with our documents. So, okay, wait a minute. We're going to price match anybody. You call an in, you don't lose a dime. And we have real documents, and the other guys have e documents and make you print them. What's show, wrong with this hey, picture? Show the live camera the, 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 the that beautiful upgraded uh, document. Put that in front of the live. So let me, well, let me pull all three out. Let's see the other two, I think. 
That's called VIP client service. Okay. So this is the pleasant one, which is the one up in the top left. The journeys one, which has a little compartment on the side. And I love it. The ladies use it for a makeup case or whatever. I use it for my electronic gear. And then the upscale one. It's an iPad folder. So the other guys, wait a minute, same price, but I'm not getting all the goods. <laughs> Is there any other chore up there? <laughs> so again, that's why you should look at what companies you're working with. Who's going to get back to you? Who's going to support you? You work with a lot of them, and I don't want to give any names away on good, better, and different. But how many other tour operators have stated that they will give, or any BDM for any company, say, hey, give me a call eight days a week? <laughs> up to 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, up until 10 o'clock, 7 o'clock, <laughs> up to 7 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know all the, all the other time zones in Alaska, but, uh, but no, that's what I, that I'm authorized to solve most problems. That's another unique thing. So about 80% of the time, I don't have to go any further. I say take $300 off this booking. Whatever I say goes. I'll give the family a luau. Whatever I say goes. The only one who can override me is the president of the company. So we get a discount <laughs> off of parking. Unfortunately, not here in Jacksonville, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're not perfect. But the people in Jacksonville, a lot of times, to get the nonstop flights to the Caribbean or whatever, drive down to Orlando. Discount parking at the Orlando airport. Some uh, some people here from Atlanta use the Atlanta. Atlanta, anybody else? Any other places we have around here? I had Alabama, we don't have anything there. Sorry. But we'll go to Atlanta. But, we'll go to Atlanta. Yeah. And you <laughs> so, but we have 38 locations nationwide with a parking spot. There's the yellow bus with black dots on it, and then in the San Francisco Sky Park. And then, of course, if you're going down to Cancun or whatever, you need that new beach fair, right? That's right. <laughs> so we'll give a discount on that too. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> so I don't know any other tour operator who takes care of the clients before they get to the airplane. Now. Another thing we do is direct connectivity. I go by the end of the year, it's 1,500 hotels. We have over 1,000 right now. Now, just because they're on the list doesn't mean they're all the hotels are there. Uh, but we have a last room availability. This does have its good, bad side. The good side, we have the last room. A lot of the other tour operators, they block it off, they call it free sale, and at a certain point, they, they cut it off. They don't cut off, most hotels do not cut off our inventory because we can see their last row. But then if they keep changing the, the prices, the other guys might take a couple days to reload the new price when it went up or whatever. Ours will sh load within a nanosecond of when they load it. So it's like an airline. You come in this morning, it's one price, and you come in this afternoon, it's another price. So it's, it's literally live inventory sale. But we have uh, all the Fiesta Americans that we carry, all the AM resorts. We're a strategic partner for them. We're the biggest seller of sandals and beaches in the world. We have every last room availability with sandals and beaches. But like, I'm going to go like a Hilton or Marriott or whatever. Um, not every hotel is on direct connectivity, like the hotels in Tahiti because the internet's so bad down there. Uh, but so, and then <coughs> even then, is there enough business going back and forth? So we have to want it, and that hotel wants it. So we turn our, both turn on the switch because there, there is a cost to, to both of us. So it's not the hotel brand; it's a hotel <coughs> hotel. But while I talk about Marriott, we are the biggest starwood seller in the world. No one sells more starwood than we do. So with that, they were bought by Marriott. Marriott does not work with one major tour operator. Now, other tour operators will have 
a couple of hotels with a Marriott here and a couple of hotels there. But as a corporation, we're going to be the very first tour operator that Marriott works for us because they don't work with tour operators. They saw our books and I go, I need to work with them. So we added over 50 Marriott hotels. I mean, Yay! so passionate service <laughs> and exceptional experience. And normally, I'm with you guys. Last time I was with you guys all day, all night, all the pizza <laughs> parties and everything else. Uh, I was with you guys last night. We were there last night. I won't be over the tonight hang around because I got to leave out of town. I got to drive back home to pack because I haven't packed yet. To go to India tomorrow. <laughs> And then when I come back to India, I go to Cancun about two days after that. And then when I come back from that, then I have to go on a cruise. <laughs> and I just had my 40th wedding anniversary, and I'm only going to see my wife three days in the month of October. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see, we had the best marriage, the checks direct deposit. <laughs> so, they don't, do me a favor, don't sell out of your pocketbook. That's what I got, and even a little bit last night here, oh yeah, I didn't sell this one. I'm going to give an example, now this goes back in time, when I was at, in Kansas City, Missouri, and this farmer comes in all dirty and everything, don't judge your anything by its cover. And he goes, I want to go to Acapulco. That's when Acapulco was very big. And I want to go to that Princess Hotel and I want to get a suite there. Now that was running about, uh, I think that was back then, back in the uh, 79, that was roughly $800 a night. Okay, which was about $1,200, $1,300 a day. And he goes, I want a suite there. So I said, okay, buddy. Yeah, sure. All cash. Yeah. But everything. So don't ever judge it. Don't say, oh, since I can't afford it, they can't afford it. Yes. Find out what their budget is. Yes. And then work from there. Now, let's say all oh, my budget's $10,000. They probably can go up to about $12,500. Now, you got to give them a reason, though. Now, for an extra thousand dollars I can put you into a butler suite, a butler room. Oh, that's worth it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so don't sell out of your pocketbook. Yeah. So, you know, look at everything over, but also be a smart seller too. Be, be ready for alternatives. And again, with pleasant holidays and journeys, you can call it in and ask for assistance. Hey, I have a family of four, that have kids and this and that, what hotel do you recommend? And we'll give you a couple hotels to choose from. So, you know, look at everything over. But be, be ready for their, what their reply is going to be. Well, I can do better on the internet. No, you can't. I'll beat it. I'll meet it or beat it. Also, now this one is strange. I always say, save up to save money. Well, wait a minute, I'm trying to make more money. But in this case, this is different. If you have a family and they're getting two bedrooms, and why not get a suite? Now, make sure the suite is a suite the way you want, like a two bedroom, at least a two bath, and everything else. I did it for my son's wedding. So we put, uh, we got a two bedroom. We got a two and a half bath, three TVs, so we got more comfort and a full kitchen. We got more comforts than if we got two rooms, and the two rooms would have cost more than those suite. So here's a couple of examples I came up with: the Sheridan Waikiki. Uh, the suite is four hundred six uh, fifty-five dollars a night when we did this. It's four sixty-five for a room, and this one has the you can access to the club, this doesn't. So you add it together, it goes, wait a minute, it's a big savings. So that's another idea of maybe save money. Also in Hawaii, look at condos. Uh, 
you know, if you have a family or whatever. So again, we have condos there. And then if you really want to go up and they want to spend more money, but that's going to be more pricier, but sometimes a lot, overall a lot less expensive. If you have a large family, you want to rent a home. We have from two bedrooms to 16 bedroom homes. Commission. Make sure, remember time is money. If you're not, if you're selling that cheap cruise that gives you $29 a commission, and you know it's out there, right? Mm -hmm. You lost money. The average booking, and remember, I'm gonna remind you, because we haven't gone over it yet, but a number of our bookings are one night stays. So the average booking through July, $665 a commission. And here's some of the different locations and what their commission was. So some decent money selling land. Do you make that much money on cruises sometimes? Unless you sell in the suites. But you can make a lot of money selling land. Hey, Carlos, oh, make, make that point that you shared last night with the uh, land commission versus what people are really paying on the cruise yeah. versus well, what current, okay. you are on commission. Well, look for the well, not the commission really per se, it's the price. So that cruise is down here. The all inclusive up here. So I can sell this, it's cheaper. Went up that the average cruiser on a one week cruise spends $1,500. A lot of times the all inclusive is going to be cheaper than the cruise, even throwing air and everything. So look at everything over. This is fully commissionable, even the taxes on all inclusive. This you only got a little bit because most of it is not on cruises, not uh, commissionable. Excursions and massage. And yeah, but even the cruise price itself, most of it is non commissionable. There's a lot of non, a lot of taxes and fees and port charges, which are non commissionable. We don't have that when you say at all inclusive. So you can look at that over, and when you're doing a, a pricing for a client, they have a budget of, you know, I said $10,000, and they're going on a cruise. Well, make sure you add at least $1,500 to that. Hey, this is where your real cost. And the, hey, let's maybe look at this too. So these are our brochures. Uh, we have two. Uh, all our brochures are a two-year brochure to try to save resources. Now, be truthful, we do have brochures. A lot of other companies nowadays don't have brochures at all. We do. Uh, now, some of the brochures that are coming up brand new this year are uh, Hawaii, Mexico, and USA. I think that's it. Now, we'll get it there. Do -do 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 -do. And Tahiti. So those are going to be our new brochures coming out in the next couple months. So uh, the Caribbean and Europe and Central America are not going to be made new this year. In Journeys, every brochure is going to be brand new. And the newest brochure that just come, came out this week uh, is the South Pacific. That's the first one that came out. I presume Europe is going to be the next one because we are totally out of that in our company. But every brochure is going to be changing in journeys. Again, this, those are two year brochures. Now, why journeys? I gave you a lot of it already, but it's what the client wants. If they want a private cooking class in Tuscany, that's journeys. If they want to go see the Louvre and they want a private guide to take them to the highlights of what they really want to see, that's journeys. So they get private entrance, private this and that. That's all journeys. Uh, so journeys is whatever clients want. Now, the strangest one I've had, rich, rich person, they wanted helicopter service from the different islands in Hawaii. They didn't want to go through the airport. And we had to ferry the helicopter from Honolulu to the different islands and then fly it up to the next island. They were going from, say, Big Island to Maui, and then fly it back to Honolulu, and then a couple of days later fly it back down. So a lot of deadheading and everything. Uh, Forty-five thousand uh, dollars was the transfers commission. 
So, in other words, give us a try. Anything your clients want, we will try. No guarantee, but we will try. Uh, private resident, resort residents. These are homes and villas, part of a hotel resorts. A lot of the uh, tour operators can't sell these hotels, or these homes and villas that are part of a resort. But we have them in, uh, in, in uh, Europe, we have them in Greece and Italy. We have them throughout the Caribbean. Uh, in Central America, we have them in Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Panama. We have them in Mexico, and we also have them in Hawaii. And you want? Do you want to make more money? Yes. You like more money? Yeah. yeah. You like more money? Yeah. Yeah. Sell a private home that is not part of a hotel, twenty percent commission. So a private home that's not part of a hotel or a resort. And we find we have those in, in Mexico, correction, in the Caribbean and in Hawaii. And you remember my hair problem I had? Yeah. Paul Mitchell's home. We have this home. <laughs> <laughs> now, where do we go? And here's all the different brochures. Now I have to admit to you, I normally have a handout, but with the hurricanes and everything, my storage unit got totally destroyed. Oh, uh, and I have a off-site storage unit, the door blew off and destroyed all my brochures, flyers, and everything. So I'm skipping around. I just got some pleasant brochures. I don't have my journey brochures and my handouts that I normally give, I don't have those either. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's life. But I do have a couple set, uh, complete sets still in the car. So this is a set of brochures that we have. Just drop by my booth and you get a brand new 2018 and 2019 calendar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's one of, everybody says it's one of the best calendars ever. It is. <laughs> So, um, so United Arab Emirates, Abu Dhabi, and Dubai. This is a journey product only. There are three destinations that are journeys only. Uh, United Arab Emirates, also uh, Australia, New Zealand. Everything else in both com uh, both companies. Doesn't mean we go to the same places or the same hotels means we're in the same area. Europe. Uh, found throughout Europe, we just added a plethora of new countries. This year we added Portugal, Monaco, Hungary, Switzerland, Germany, Scotland, that's not a country, but Scotland, Denmark, and Iceland and Northern Ireland. So we don't we're not really great in those markets yet. But look at it this way. In the Caribbean, we're now one of the biggest in the Caribbean. And we didn't even get into the Caribbean. I think we're now have been told we we're the second biggest in the Caribbean. We didn't join the Caribbean until 2009. So we go in slowly and blow it up. We're even right here in Jacksonville. St. Augustine, so you can do things right here. So we go into something slow, so watch us grow. I think we're gonna be in the, uh, like, uh, Norway and the like next year. Uh, we're doing a major push, I know, this coming next year for Scotland. So we only have like one or, one or two hotels right now. So this could be a major push in Scotland for next year. We do a number of cruise lines. I'm not gonna get into that, because most cases you're gonna do better on your own. I think you have you guys have an agreement with all waterways. Of course, NCL is coming up later on, and uh, Windstar. Uh, but we have some unique cruises too. So I'm not here really to sell the cruise part of it, but I want you to show how grounded we are. Most other companies don't have that. Iceland Pro Cruises. This is a small ship. It's like a yacht. 224 passengers. Uh, it cruises around Iceland and also Iceland and Greenland combinations. So we have them going around uh, Iceland and I'll get to the different ones later on. 
but they circumnavigate. This is the only ship that goes around Iceland. Some have one or two ports in Iceland, and we this ship goes to every, uh, nine different ports. And again, when they circumnavigate Iceland, there's no days at sea. So the nine nighters, and the next year is going to be a seven nighter also, that goes around Iceland. Uh, but one of the departures is going to be a seven nighter, uh, and again, no two days. No days at sea at all. The 11 nighter combines Iceland and Greenland. And a Northern Alliance, that was very popular. I would say this will sell up by Thanksgiving for sure. Uh, three nights on land and three nights on water. So, the, uh, so different type of uh, unique cruises. And the ship itself, only deck seven because it's lower to the water, only deck seven has balconies. Every cabin is an ocean view cabin or partial ocean view. It might be obstructed, but every cabin is an outside cabin. And they have zodiacs. Thing. So once you get down to the ship, they have zodiacs and it like to get you around. So, what makes us unique compared to everybody else? Both Pleasant and Journeys, one night minimum stay at all cruise ports. That includes riverboats. So like uh, Prague and Budapest are considered riverboat cruise ports, one night minimum stay. So Venice, Barcelona, whatever. Now you look at our pricing compared to the cruise lines direct. The cruise lines usually only have one or two hotels. And they don't tell you sometimes the hotel until like a month before departure. Here, you have the hotel already selected for you. You or your client selected the hotel six months, eight months in advance, whatever. So that makes a difference. And it's, I would say 99% of the time it's cheaper, less expensive. So that's kind of a unique thing. Other companies require a two or three night minimum stay. We can do a transfer from the airport to the hotel to the port and vice versa from the port to the hotel to the airport. And then also, of course, activities when they're sitting. If they want to do a sightseeing trip or whatever, we do that too. Again, don't forget our private homes and villas in Italy and Greece. Hawaii. We're just a little bitty company there. <laughs> just a little bitty company. Um, this is where we were founded back basically in 1959. We're the largest one. We are three times bigger than anybody else. We're the concierge at 26 hotels throughout the Hawaiian Islands, including, you know, that Mickey Mouse operation, the Disney Alani? We're, we're dressed in a Disney uniform. Wow. Disney. Anybody like Disney here? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Alani's beautiful. Well, you know, but a little history about Disney with me. Walt Disney, in a sense, was like was like an uncle to me. My grandfather was the senior vice president of Bank of America, the real Bank of America, not the one today. <laughs> uh, and that was formerly the Bank of Italy. And he's the one who gave Walt Disney the money to build Disneyland. So our, I was born in Pasadena, right down the street, literally about. 20 minutes away, dropped by freeway, maybe a half hour, uh, from Burbank, where Disney's headquarters still is located at. And so we got that's how the tie in there. And I lived in New York City in 64 for the New York World's Fair. I talked to somebody, you know, most of the World's Fair, a good hunk of Disney today is from the World's Fair. The Small World, GE Carousel of Progress, the Hall of Presidents, where Abraham Lincoln went to stand up in New York. They had red dye or red uh, hydraulic fluid, and he sprung a leak. Headlight came out, looking shot again. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's a true story. And unfortunately, the governor of Illinois was in attendance, and my dad was in attendance. So, but uh, so that's my little history with Disney. I have a lot of histories. I can write a book. Uh, but Hawaii, big area. And really, Hawaii keeps on going over here past Midway Island, but no one's out there. These are all private uh, or isolated islands, uninhabited in many cases. There are some here, 
There's one here, but only about 200 people a year are allowed on the island. It's really hard. We can't get up there. But Kauai, well, Kauai was born down here. And over the millions of years, got pushed all the way over. Oh. What is the biggest city in the world? Uh, sorry, Jack, to go to the field. <laughs> by lane mass? The, by lane? By area. Honolulu, by the Constitution, covers anything that is not in a county. So these are counties, these are counties, and whatever, but all the little islands. So it's equivalent to LA, to uh, almost to St. Louis, distance wise. Wow. So it's the largest city in the world. So the whole island of Oahu is Honolulu. So it's all operated by the Honolulu police. So again, we're the biggest and best tour operator. Uh, we do an uncruised, un I think on some has uncruised already. Right? Yeah. So I'll go with that. And we're the concierge. We have prepaid rooms. I'll get into that. And again, I already told you about our four, the four seasons. We have private, uh, both at resorts and private homes uh, throughout the Hawaiian Islands. But your on cruise is comparable prices to the um, also in Sumble. Yeah. The, uh, if you did yeah. that, would it be any difference? It's the same. It's the, the same, same price. price in some. Yeah. I don't know what that cruise is. It's a small ship. Uh, the one in Hawaii is 36 passengers. The one in Baja, California is about 90 passengers. It's more specialized. Uh, it's specialized, rooms. but more, mostly upscale. But really, uh, back in the nature a lot. Uh, but all your drinks virtually are included, uh, except the Dom Pierignon if you want that. But if you want a Monat <laughs> Champagne, that's included. Uh, but so almost all your uh, drinks are included. Uh, even a massage is included. Oh. <laughs> yeah, good. That's a uncruise. So, but uh, so that's a, what an uncruise is. It's more upscale, but it's small ships, uh, more for adventures. Uh, go. They will change their itinerary around. If the whales are 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 doing something that's really exciting, then the captain will move that around. So you might not go on the itinerary you think you're going on. It's the itinerary of what's best of your, on that trip of what's happening. And when they do a luau, they do it in Molokai, which is the, uh, the most Hawaiian island and the least, one of the least visited. This is where the, uh, uh, this is where the, lua, uh, the hula was born. <laughs> I was going to wear my grass skirt, but the lawnmower was going to take it away. So, but if you see me in a sarong, my granddaughter, my daughter says it's so wrong. <laughs> but I do that because I used to uh, work. You probably wouldn't work good on her life. And I could wear it without saying. <laughs> right now, <laughs> it's the way you tuck it and turn it and then suck your gut in and then exhale and it'll stay there for about eight hours. <laughs> right now, for a number of cities around the nation, we are giving a $250 additional discount to Hawaii staying at selected hotels and there's a lot of hotels. Unfortunately, in this area, the only one we have is uh, Orlando. So, uh, what do you mean, like, it's just uh, So, that's the Hawaii right now. Look, by the end of October, for travel through, uh, through uh, July of 2018, like Christmas, is is sold out and uh, or is blacked out, and I think Thanksgiving is blacked out, but there's very few blackouts. So uh, the reason being, 
there's a plethora of new seats coming to Hawaii. A plethora? A bunch? Yeah. Yeah. A ton? <laughs> How many new seats are going to go to Hawaii compared to this year? How many hundreds of thousands of new seats? Oh, well, let me go to, I'll get to that answer. But we are part owners, not legally, of four different hotels in Hawaii since 2013. The Moana Surfrider. The Royal Hawaiian, the Pink Palace, mm -hmm. the Weston in Maui, where we had to double our inventory because of so much request for 2018, and the Sheridan in Kona. So when the hotel sold out, we got it. <laughs> they can't sell them. Also, uh, you look at our price and the internet price, it might be about the same within a buck or two. But it really isn't because we have up to five hundred dollars savings. Everyone has a free, uh, free breakfast, for example, with food. and discounts off the spa. The uh, Moana even has uh, into the club lounge included. That's worth eighty-five dollars per person. So there's a lot of different things that are we've added on there. So it might be about the same price as another guy, but does it include everything? No. Again, Four Seasons were only one or two companies that are authorized to sell them. All the Four, all the four Seasons in Hawaii. So, additional flights. Somebody got drunk at United Airlines. And so, hey, let's add a couple more flights. And then it got worse. Oh, Hawaii said, oh, let's add some more flights. And then America says, oh, no, let's add more flights. I didn't put the American on here because it's relatively new. Over 900,000 new seats in 2018 compared to 2017. That's a ton of new seats. So uh, Hawaii added more service. And Dallas, Hawaii with American Airlines is also brand new. So that's not on the list. So I figure the, net, the seats now is up to about 950,000 new seats in 2018 compared to 2017. So, here's an example. Why Denver? And look at the additional seasonal, and now it's to daily year round. Seasonal, that's Kona, that's uh, Kauai. Seasonal daily round trip. Maui, seasonal daily round trip. Every day, year round. For I said round trip, it's year round. So, Big, huge increase in Denver a lot. Chicago, Honolulu, uh, Maui went from uh, once a week to uh, five times a week. Ch uh, LA, a plot throw of new flights. And San Francisco. So, Hawaii is going to be hot next year. And again, don't forget about private homes and bills throughout Hawaii. My pool's down there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I showed you my, my home. So uh, Tahiti, we're the largest tour operator in the world to Tahiti. Now, in Hawaii, we're the biggest there, too. But Hawaii, we're only three times bigger. Tahiti, we are nine times bigger than our closest competitor. Wow. Six, over 60% of the U.S. market comes to either Pleasant or Journeys. So we kind of own the destination. We're the biggest in the world there. Um, now, you got to put things in perspective, though, too. Uh, you can put all of Tahiti into the MGM at Las Vegas. That's how many rooms there are in Tahiti. So there's not a whole ton of rooms, but still, they have that much. Um, we have a number of cruises, and I get Ensemble has the windstorm, so sure, the ball is gone. But they don't have the Arnoe. And uh, we also have Dream Yacht Charters and Tahiti Charters. Dream Yacht has, these are chartering a boat, uh, catamarans, but they have guaranteed departures on some departures. Three, three five, and seven, nine, uh, departures on a cat catamaran 
and it's a guaranteed departure. They hold uh, eight people, and so if your couple is the only one on there, they could have their own captain and crew. But the RNA I'll talk about a little bit later on. So, but I want to explain this when I get to the RNA. It goes from Tahiti up to the Marquesas Island. That's equivalent to New York to the Caribbean, distance-wise. This is the Society Islands. That's where most of the people, this is where Marlon Brando's private island, private island was. Yes. This is only about 60% of French Polynesia. The other 40% really are no, have, have no major hotels, and they're all down here. Marquesas only has two airports, but uh, there's a lot of islands up there. But only two air, there's only two places of airports. Uh, very low here, incredible dining. So, di uh, yeah, uh, uh, and the hotel, uh, uh, hotels, great for well watching and everything, great for uh, diving. And then we go to Fiji. Uh, I got, I forgot to change the slide. San Francisco is not seasonal anymore. It's year round. That just announced. They just announced that. So I forgot to update that slide. Hey, I was up until one in the morning making this up. <laughs> uh, Cook Islands. Now, Cook Islands is where you send someone who gets lost in a telephone booth. The reason for that, Rangaroa has basically one reef road and two buses. One called clockwise and one called counterclockwise. If you get on the wrong bus, within an hour you'll be at the right place. <laughs> <laughs> so those who get lost in the telephone booth, oh. send them there. Uh, it might be me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Fiji had a problem. When they made the international dateline, they made it through here. So they could be in today or tomorrow or yesterday oh. and today. They have since moved the international dateline, but at the beginning when it first came out. So there's some signs up there where you can be in today and tomorrow. That's a time machine. Yeah. So uh, it's about Tahiti with us. This is a column, like it or not, in almost every case. You can't really do this one online. The domestic airline Air Tahiti, not to be confused with Air Tahiti Nui, is not in any uh, system, so we have to create it. And so we have the air to heat system so we can put all the pieces together while you're on the phone and do instant confirmation. At the Nadi Airport, we have a lounge uh, there, and uh, that is included in the price with journeys. So the airport lounge there. And uh, we also have, again, the, the Nadi Airport here, which is the airport for Fiji. As opposed to Nadi. No. No. So the Aranui, <laughs> I want to explain this one. This is a freighter going up from the island of Papiet, or island of Tahiti, Papiet, the city of Papiet, up to the Marquesas Islands. This is like going back in time. The Marquesas Islands uh, are like Hawaii 150 years ago. Uh, this is where tattooing, anybody wearing a tattoo? So this is where tattooing as we know today originated. Also, the largest stone head in the world outside of Easter Island are located here. And Paru gone, all the cruises go into Society Islands. They do have a couple going up to the Marquesas. And he, did, he didn't like the Society Islands. 90%, 80% of his paintings were from the Marquesas Islands. This is where he's buried too. So I'll show you, you buy it through us, you get uh, exclusive ship more credit too. So this is the freight. It looks like it's a cruise ship cut in half. This is a low end balcony. They have three bars. They have a guest lecture on each one. Almost all your activities on, the, on your short excursions too are included in the price. Very few short excursions. And the crew is the entertainment, but they also have a pool in the lake. So they don't have bingo and stuff like that, but for someone who wants to learn in different areas, this is the way. What's the passengers on that? Uh, that's about 200. 
Uh, every cabin for us that we sell is an uh, there, every cabin on the ship is an outside cabin, ocean view, no insides. And then Australia and New Zealand. Again, this is strictly journeys on. So yes, some train bus, some great trains over in Australia. The Gone and the Indian Pacific, very famous trains. Now the Caribbean. Uh, feel sorry for the Caribbeans right now. I, you know, like I said, I used to live in the Caribbean, so I have a lot of Caribbean mentality in a lot of ways, and you know, it's just sad to see what happened. But it's going to come back better. Yeah. And most of the Caribbean did not fall into the ocean. Uh, the most popular ones are Aruba, Jamaica, Dominican Republic. And like, yes. They're all up and running. Nassau, you know, that's up and running. So there's no damage to any of these places. So I would say almost 95% of our business is fully functional. Uh, unfortunately, the other ones, Oops. we've had a lot of damage. Uh, and we've been giving tourism care to help. Uh, to help rebuild, to help more so the people in the tourism business. So that's what tourism care does. Uh, we help the people in the tourism business. So we're the biggest tour operator for sandals and beaches in the world. Uh, we offer uh, the Club Mobe Lounge. Anybody know what Club Mobe is? Have been in it or round trip or, or one one? Is it Jamaican? No red stripe beer for me. No <laughs> red <stripe. laughs> uh, Appleton. Well, sorry. sorry. Uh, Excellent. Uh, excuse me. I forget her. I'll talk to everybody else. I'll let you forget her. I've got to make so many enemies. But they, uh, they meet you at the airplane if you buy the round trip. It's already included with journey. They meet you at the airplane. And walk you through their private customs and immigration line, you do not stand in line with the riffraff. At the same time, on the return trip, you have all your drinks and everything else. And you can make your, now anybody know what a Rolodex is? You can make your long distance phone call to the United States, Canada, Great Britain. So bring your Rolodex, as many calls you like, no charge. And, and they also have uh, their outbound security and immigration line. So again, you don't stand in line with everybody else. That's the way to travel. And we sell both round trip and one way departure only with uh, Pleasant. But again, round trip is included with journeys. Again, I told you about our private homes and villas. Uh, we have a number of them throughout the Caribbean. And our Club Mel Bay, $80 round trip, $30 departure only. Commissionable, of course. I don't work for free. Mexico, the number one destination for weddings. Okay. <laughs> uh, the number one destination for uh, weddings for Americans. More weddings are held in Mexico than Hawaii and Las Vegas combined. Almost 70% of all destination weddings are held here. Over almost half a million people in 2015. I don't have the updated numbers. So, uh, and you'll hear, hear a lot of reports now. Um, most of it is garbage reports. Um, I don't know if you've heard out there. One was liquor that it was possibly tainted. Well, first of all, they haven't found any tainted liquor yet. They have found illicit liquor. In other words, liquor that they have taxes, the tax staff, but haven't found any tainted liquor. And if you go into the website, and there'll be more from the newspaper, from the Milwaukee Journal, they had five tequilas, supposedly, a piece, shots of tequila. And then they were given a drink, an unknown drink by some hotel guest. That was their last drink. They were both had a blood alcohol level of 0.25 or higher a piece. That's three times the legal drinking limit. They were snockered, and that's what happened. And then they want to blame it on tainted and this and that. They have not found any tainted liquor in Mexico. They found illicit liquor, but not tainted. Crime. As the U.S. government came up with a crime. They, they want to build a wall and everything else, too. But crime. Puerto Vallarta, Guadalajara, Mexico City. 
and the Yucatans and Disney World. What is the most dangerous place to go to? Disney. The crime rate in the Yucatan is 0.5 per 100,000. The crime rate in Canada is 1.5. Uh, Jacksonville is uh, about 15. <laughs> <laughs> so there's only like about three states that are really dangerous that are really dangerous in Mexico. But most of most I wouldn't have if I lived in the Yucatan and we had a number of uh, what they call expats, Americans, who are GMs of hotels there on there. They have no problems of letting their kids walk around out midnight because they're totally safe. So, Cancun, we're the only tour operator that has a lounge at the Cancun airport. It's included with journeys already. It's only $25 for adults, free for kids. And of course we have our villas there too, so that's our journeys. And our private homes. So we go to Central America. And in Central America, we have uh, uh, in uh, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Panama, private villas. But in Belize, we have uh, some private islands. So the Royal Belize only takes one booking at a time and can hold 10 people, 10 people. It's rated four stars. So in Costa Rica, we do have a guided vacation. This is the only place in the company we have for pleasant holidays. It's uh, in Costa Rica. They operate every other week year round. Uh, if one it doesn't operate during Christmas time, so there's 24 departures per trip per year, there's two different trips. So there's 48 trips total a year. Everyone is guaranteed if one person signed up, it's going. Average size 10 to 15 people. And again, our uh, homes and villas throughout. The USA, our brochure on the USA is about as good as a $3 bill because we've added so much more. We've added Hilton Head, we've added uh, Jacksonville, we've had St. Augustine, we've had Pensacola and Panama City, we've got it a lot more. So uh, Niagara Falls is another one, but we're found throughout the United States and Canada. So the stat doesn't even show all the different places. So we've got it so much more, and then throughout Canada. Anybody know Spanish here? See? Yeah. <laughs> everybody knows what a little bit. Everybody knows what the word nada means, right? Yes. Okay. You know how Canada got its name? It was the Spanish explorers. I love Canada. Though. They looked around, looked around, going ca nada, nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the unique things about us in the U.S., Canada, and hopefully we get Puerto Rico back up the line because it was in Puerto Rico too. Uh, one night minimum stay at all cruise ports. So we've got Miami, Fort Lauderdale, uh, whatever, uh, New York City, Vancouver, Seattle, whatever. Any cruise port we're at, one night minimum stay. Even Jacksonville now. Uh, American Queen, American Empress, and American Duchess. Uh, we're the only ones authorized to sell it uh, as a cruise only of all the two operators. All the two operators only have three or four departures a year. We have every single one for all three ships. In fact, I was at the christening of the American Duchess. All yes. suites. Some of the rooms are two stories tall. Some of uh, So, and they just bought bought another ship. So there'll be a fourth ship of theirs coming up, probably by next year. Uh, but we offer fifty dollars ship work credit. Now, here's the beauty about this. Um, we take all the money and we don't give it to them. Too many river boats in the United States like Delta Queen Cruise Road, have gone out of business. And we put all the money into a maritime escrow account. Remember, they're getting money up to a million dollars. So if something happens, we don't have to fight the courts to get the money back. They get the money a week after your clients come home. So, so we're protecting you and your clients. So at more commission, shipboard credit, we're going to work it through. <laughs> you got it. And nobody else got it, but you got it. <laughs> so, again, and we're having offering major discounts uh, uh, if booked early. So, 
some of the things. No penalty for calling it in. Again, almost all the other two operators charge you, charge you one to four percent commission. And with that, I want to say thank you, gracias, mercy, uh, and all the other languages. Yeah. Any questions? None. Thank you. No. <laughs> Probably this separate login for Jeremy's, right? Oh, is that yes. still okay. Uh, there are three logins. Let me see if that's his. This is ours, okay. but we're recording. Pleasant. Live. I brought mine if you need Yeah. Pleasant. Once you sign into Pleasant, a couple hours later, you're automatically signing into Journeys and vice versa. Oh. So Pleasant and Journeys are one oh. sign. Okay. But it's a separate website. Separate website. Okay. So and same. then a separate sign in for Everybody yeah. Pleasant. And a separate sign in for pleasant activities. So three sign ins and uh, three but four different websites. I love your last slide. Mahalo. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah. you, Ruby. How you and doing? And you, Real you guys, why Penny um, sets up, you can have a five minute bathroom break. Whoever's got to, blah, blah, blah. Penny sets up her slides. And she can, I can, bear, the whole crowd, even though we saw the NCO and I had it on my slide. Did I say book it right directly with them? You yeah. did. Your gift was awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Well, you can book it, book it through them, too. We'll get it one way or the other. <laughs> this is my cousin. He takes, he's, actually, he's my cousin because his sister works with me, um, Mary Sue. Yeah. Oh. oh. But not legally. Not legally. But that's what they call each other. We call each other. Mexi uh, the sales rep up here before, Mary Sue and I worked at Mexicana Airlines 20 years ago. <laughs> so I figured we've lived that long. Yeah. Is this yours or theirs? I like the light on there. That's pretty good. Cool. Oh, That's the HDMI. Oh, I don't have an HDMI. You don't? No. I don't have an HDMI outlet, so I guess I'm going to have to use. You should. No, I don't. Do you have a different this cord? Sometimes they have a second cord. We can use. Um, I guess we could use this co other computer. This one is. This one's recording the live. So maybe we could use this one. That'd be great. Thank you. Thank you for trying. I'm going to use my computer. Well, you're amazing, baby. We're not until after. Oh, you're staying for the trade show? May yeah. I use yours? Yeah. Do you mind? Never mind. I'll use this. Thank you. Oh, Carlos, you're a good team player. <laughs> I have, there's a, there's a all right, no worries. I have uh, no, um, I have no spam or whatever you call it. This is the bathroom break, guys. Go take your bathroom break <laughs> while we set up for the next supplier. And will you do me a favor and call on this? Because I have no watch on I love your dress. Thank you. It's beautiful. Oh, are you well? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. What is it called? Uh, Journey.com. Just show Journey.com. Let me do that. And you're saying, because I've been locked in. Faraday, there's a little place in Jack's Beach that sells these. They're the best traveling dresses in the world. Yeah. Really? It's right on A1A. Oh, really? What is it? What is it called? It's Captain Wade. It's the one who makes her. And what's your shop called? It's called Catherine Oh, oh I'm Catherine Way. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, no, we got that at Sam's. Thank you for really good. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I but um, I was my, um, happy of your bonus. Yeah. 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 Y
here today guys got a whole new line for you we're so excited with penny we're excited with norwegian Yay. we want to go norwegian guys wait till you see what she's getting ready to lay out for you what did you guys think of carlos Yay. yeah right. well, it only gets better guys Woo. we're going to turn this over to miss penny Bradson. Thank, thank you i tell you what is a wealth of knowledge. If you need to know, well, as he walks in, if you need to know anything, call that man because he is fabulous. Carlos, thank you, by the way. If you yeah. want that, you can use it. And what I'm going to do is ask you, since some of you do or do not have cards, I'm going to ask you to put your name and email address and do it so I can read it, please. And I'm old, so make it big. Um, <laughs> and uh, because I do a blast out every once in a while, it's called Penny's Hot Flashes. So you'll know it's coming for me, and um, it will let you know all the latest and greatest. So may I give this to you? I'm kind of sitting here. Okay. Hi, I'm Penny from Norwegian. Yay! Yay! Norwegian is a great cruise line. You're going to learn a whole lot about it. I'm very proud to work for this company. This is me in, um, and some pictures I took. That's a, a moose in Alaska and the lava flowing in Hawaii. So. Uh, support Carlos in the Hawaii thing. Hawaii is awesome. For those, well, wait, wait, let me ask, has anyone ever saw on Norwegian before? One, two, just a few. Okay. Norwegian. Norwegian's been around for about I'm going to say the stepchildren. We have always been the little red-headed stepchild cruise line that was always little thing and everybody else was thinking about Royal Caribbean and Carnival and we just kind of did our own thing and it was great but we've always been this sort of outside of the box cruise line we've always done things just a little bit different than everybody we were the first to have a private island we were the first to go to the Caribbean even though our name's Norwegian we were the first to have a kids program we were the first to do all sorts of things but what we're really known for is freestyle cruising 
And what freestyle cruising is, is just a, um, a way of looking things differently. And I'm going to ask everybody if you're making notes or if you're um, using your phones, if you can put your phones down, please. Uh, that would be great. Faraday. I'm, I'm close <laughs> to your picture. I'm, 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 no, I'm I love to that. You on social media. I love that. That you can do. But no, the truth is that um, freestyle cruising was sort of ahead of the curve. Way back when, the, old, the cruise lines would have two dinings, early and late. And you would either go to the first dining or go to the second, and there was no, nothing in between. So I remember specifically, and by the way, just to give you a little background, I've been doing this for 36 years. I've worked for airlines, tour companies, and um, I've even worked for several different cruise lines, including Holland America and Celebrity. So I kind of know what's going on out there. And in the old, I was on a beach one day out in the middle of gosh knows what island, having the best time. And all of a sudden I went, holy crap, I have to get back to the ship because I have to, you know, we're going to leave and I have to have dinner. Well, this was when I was much younger, but I actually bummed back to the ship, hitchhiked back to the ship, and got back there, ran to the ship, I'm all salty, sweaty, funky, and as I'm getting on the ship, I thought, oh my gosh, I have dinner in 15 minutes, and oh my gosh, it's formal night. So, you know, that was the way it used to be. You'd be frantically always structured. Norwegian came along and said, we don't, people don't want to be that structured anymore. They want to be able to chill out and do things when they want. And that's what freestyle dining is all about. You, we, Instead of one big dining room, we have all these little dining rooms. So if you feel like sushi one night at 6 o'clock, and if you feel like a steak at 8 o'clock on another night, you can do what you want when you want. And so it's not just the dining, it's the whole feel of the ship. I just had an agent come off, and he said it was so different because it really was an attitude on the ship of, hey, you want to do this? Fine. You want to eat here? Fine. You. It's all about making your client very happy and comfortable. So that's really what freestyle cruising is all about. Very relaxed, um, lots of great activities, and um, more restaurants than you can actually on some ships than you can eat at in all the days of the week on the ship. So lots to do. Now, the reason you're hearing from me is about three years ago, Norwegian bought Regent and Oceana to become the third largest cruise line in the world. And at that time, that's when Norwegian sort of moved into the forefront because we became a major player. And it's kind of funny because, as I said, when I was working for Holland or Celebrity, I never thought about Norwegian. They were just over here. But now people are suddenly seeing and hearing more about Norwegian. The people who have been sailing on Norwegian for 50 years have known how great we are, but now we have new people. And so I say that to you when you're talking to your clients and they say, why are you talking about Norwegian? You can say, well, for many reasons. You know, they're the third largest cruise line in the world, they, and, and all the other things I'm going to tell you about in a minute. But that just kind of helps you to know where, why you're hearing more about us now. When we merged, we um, we got a new president, Frank Del Rio, who has been around for a long time. He's really well done. He does a great job, and he's all about things being uh, top of the line. The region and Oceana are more um, are luxury and super luxury, and um, he owned actually Oceana Cruises. So he came in and said, "Let's upgrade Norwegian just a little bit." And that was a million dollar. Um, upgrade as far as uh, you'll see in a minute what we've done with the ships. I keep trying to do that. Okay, so you, it's easy to sell Norwegian because we're pretty consistent. There are some cruise lines that have everything from a 800 passenger ship to a 5,000 passenger ship. Our ships are really pretty consistent and they're broken down into groups. So it's really easy if you're just starting out as an agent to get to know us. It's 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 an easier transition. And we have new ships. We are actually uh, have the youngest fleet in the waters. And I'm showing you um, here, down here, it says brochure and deck plan. What all of you should have in front of you, and I don't want you to necessarily look at it now, but just know that you should have something that that is a deck plan, which I, may I, here, this one. This blue thing is a deck plan. It just shows all of the ships and the layouts in a much bigger scale, makes it much easier to read. If you didn't get one, I have more in the back. You'll also have a folder 
Discover the World with Norwegian that has a, a yellow flyer in there with, with a lot of the information I'm telling you, so um, in case you need that. And then this Partners First has some more information from our VP. So if you don't have any of those three things, please let me know afterwards. So um, also, we have this great brochure. It is a great big, thick brochure. It tells you everything you need to know about Norwegian. And having worked for a lot of different companies, I'm here to say that if you are a new agent, the best way to really learn is to start picking up these brochures, order one from every one of your preferred suppliers, and just start looking through them. Stick them in the bathroom when you go, you know, read it while you're in the, you know, who cares? If you're single like me and you go and eat dinner by yourself, read it there. It's amazing what you can learn from everybody's brochures because they really, the first part will tell you how great that company is. The second part usually talks about itineraries, whether it's land or cruise. And then the last part gives you more of the down and dirty information that you need. So that's a great way for new agents to learn about all your different products. I mentioned that we have the youngest contemporary fleet in the waters, and you can see us versus um, some of the other guys, and we do have the youngest fleet, which is great. It's another reason why when you're talking to your clients and they say, why are you showing me Norwegian? Well, they have the youngest fleet out there, and everybody likes what's new and approved, so that's good. And we just, as I showed you this slide, had a $400 million investment. Part of that investment was upgrading all of these brand new ships anyhow, but Frank wanted to put extra touches on them. So we had dry docks for all of our ships this past year. So even tweaked more. What Norwegian has always been known for is great entertainment. We were the first cruise line to put full Broadway productions on our ships. And I'm not saying little bits, they're full Broadway productions. And that is a great value because it's all free. You can see, look, Legends in Concert, After Midnight, Howl at the Moon, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, all of that is free. If you're selling a, an all-inclusive land package in Cancun, you know, they may have an all-inclusive package, but what is the entertainment they have? Maybe a steel drum or maybe a guitar player. Here, your clients can go see a magician one night and a full Broadway production another night and a jazz person the other night. So it really is a huge value. And again, another thing you can tell your clients. So who is our customer? In the old days, um, you used to be able to qualify your, your account, your agent, and I'm going to look, where's Jerome? Oh, he's back there. Okay, but in the old days, you would talk to somebody, and you knew your client might be, for instance, a Holland America passenger, and you knew that because they were almost dead, and they carried an oxygen tank. You know, that was the, <laughs> truly, that was the old Holland America client. And that kind of didn't deviate. It's, but now it's changed because everybody is doing something different. The woman who, and I'm going to say, the woman who might be the matriarch that does the upscale luxury region may, the next time you walk in and she talks to you, may be looking for something for herself, her kids, and her grandkids. And that region ship's not going to work for her. What's good about us is we're really very sort of neutral. We're good for everybody. What's bad is that means you guys have to work harder. You have to qualify your clients every time you talk to them because you don't just assume because they're a region passenger that they're going to go in region again. You really have to listen to what it is they want. If they are indeed, though, looking for something that's good for everybody, especially for, value, uh, for families and good value, we are great for that. Again, because we have these very new ships, we're very contemporary. So the millennials like us, and the, uh, for the baby boomers who have um, kids and grandkids, they love us. So really, Norwegian is great for everyone. And again, if you're starting out, there's so much out there. It's kind of good to be able to focus on one thing, get to know that, and then um, grow your knowledge. So. Start with the region. We're good. Um, so I said we're great for multi-generational families. I said we were the first to have a kids club. Well, we really have thought this whole kids club thing through. We actually break it down. But we have shorter cruises for um, 
and, and families like that. We have a family programming, including, look, we have it all broken down. And even into the teens, we realize that it, you don't want to just group 13 to 17 year olds, because that 17 year old doesn't want to hang around with a 13 year old. So you, we break it down. Um, I was, um, I had an interesting in situation. I'm finally, I'm 62 and I'm finally dating a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I need more applause than that. that was oh. And I hope the next time we do training, I can say I have a ring on my finger. But in the meantime, <laughs> I'm dating this great guy, but he has kids and grandkids. Well, so we planned a cruise on the Epic out of the Med for me to meet the kids and the grandkids. Uh -huh. And it was like, okay, here we go. I'm going to meet the whole family all at once. Well, that was great because, of course, the kids can go off and do this. and We weren't always together 24-7. The bad news on that one is my honey was flying in from another place, and it was the day that British Airways computers died. So he did not get there for three days. So the first three days, I'm with the kids and the grandkids all by myself. Thank the Lord I was on this ship because there was something for them to do all the time. And it worked out beautifully. But you can imagine, I was a little bit stressed out about that. But for instance, this was actually the ship we were on. Now, besides all of that, the week before the cruise, I broke my hand. So I'm in this cast, and Miss Penny is trying to prove herself to the grandkids. I'm on this water slide with a great big plastic bag on my arm, sliding <laughs> down with the grand girls, but we had the best time because, you know, there really is so much fun to do. It was great. So I just had to throw that slide in there. In this $400 million investment, we did the upgrades of the ship. We've added some um, upgrades to the private islands, and we really upgraded the food, so that's wonderful. That's another good thing. I told you we had the first private island. Um, that private island is Great Storm K. Unfortunately, she was hit a little bit during the hurricanes, but we have been working very hard beforehand. We invested a lot of money to really upgrade Great Storm K. We've added a lot of cool things, like even a special room, a building where, for instance, if you have somebody that wants to get married and the bride wants something to, a room to change into, there are rooms for that. If you have VIPs that want to have a special meeting, this is being built right now, and it's going to be wonderful. But Great Strip K is our private island, and it's, she's just fabulous. We've done lots of new things, like added this special restaurant in that special building. We've added a spa on the, on the, on the uh, island itself. Wow. Now, we all know that a private island is... When you go to a, an, anybody's private island, everything's included, right? You have your food, your beverage, whatever. This is our private island. We also bought another island, but we're doing this in conjunction with the Belizean government. So it is not our private island. It is a, we call it a private island destination or it's a new port. Everybody, we need more places to go in the Caribbean. I mean, and I would say that this was before the hurricane. Now we really need new places to go. But the, um, we bought this island, the Belizeans are um, doing it, so on this island there will be fees associated with it. If anybody buys you know, food or liquor or short excursions or gifts, that will be an extra charge. But the, sh the good thing is the ship pulls up and docks. You know, they can go hang out by the pool and do all the other stuff on the private island, but at the, um, if they want to go back on the ship and eat, they can. So it's just a matter if they do anything extra, and I, you need to be able to let your clients know so you can manage their expectations. Thank you for knowing your hand. I love that. No, I just booked Norwegian last night. Thank you. And they're going to Belize, so I need to let them know that. Great, yes. So, so, yay. so this is the... One of the restaurants, Landshark Bar. Okay, so ships and destinations. We have ships and we have destinations, and we go all over the world. Again, you can see, we even go to Iceland. You know, we have just about everything. As I said in the beginning, most of our ships are, our ships are really consistent, and they, in the, in the big scheme of things, they mostly do seven day long and longer cruises. There are two ships that are sort of different. They're sort of pulled off to the side. The sky and the sun. Easy to know because the names match. The sky goes out of Miami, 
and does three and four day sh um, sailings, three days to Bahamas, four days to Cuba, and yes, Cuba is fine, and we are still sailing there. Um, the thing that's different about this is the open bar is included in the pricing. So when you're selling this, you're selling a ship with the liquor already included. So it's truly an all-inclusive. Plus, if any of you have ever sold us, like this lovely lady, we have, um, <laughs> we offer not just pricing, but we use what we call a value add. We have a price, and most everybody does this now, but then you have extra bennies that you can add on top of it prepaid gratuities or shore excursions or and your clients get to choose so that's oh, the great thing about this is they already have the beverage package so they get to choose two other things so the sky is a great deal especially with Cuba that's awesome I was just in Cuba about two months ago and it's a fabulous destination so it goes year-round from Miami to the Bahamas and Cuba oh, it includes the open bar the other one we just announced is the Sun, and it's going out of Port Canaveral in starting this May. Also doing the three and four day, and the drink package is included in this. So our most of our most of who here is local to this area are not too far. Great. So you have another option now. That basically means out of Port Canaveral, we will have year-round presence because we have the epic in the winter, and we're going to have this. Um, sun coming out doing the Port Canaveral. We have a brand new ship and I did have some brochures in the back. Somebody, some people took them already. You can order these online. It's called the Bliss. She's coming out and she's going to start in Seattle doing round trip inside passage. That's very unusual. Most ships in Alaska are older ships because they know that we all know, all we cruise lines know, people are going to go to Alaska regardless if it's a new ship or an old ship. So we thought, oh, let's do something different. Put a new ship over there. So you're going to have this wonderful, brand new, all the bells and whistles ships doing Alaska. Now in Alaska, we have all sorts of opportunities to do glaciers. You will have clients that just have to do 